guys and welcome to this, the second in a two-part video series on the island of Sal in the Cape Verdean chain. In the previous episode, we gave you some interesting information worth knowing if you're planning a visit. In this second episode, we're going to be looking at the main tourist town of Santa Maria. Saturday evening and it's we're in Santa Maria, Sal, on the, in Cape Verde and tonight they're going to close off the streets I can do this without getting my feet wet and they're going to be partying the streets apparently so that should be interesting to see Some of the best reasons for visiting are the guaranteed temperatures. In January temperatures get to around 23 degrees Celsius, but in peak summer you get temperatures up to 27 Celsius. Perfect temperatures year round. One of the main strengths of the islands is the abundance of fish. Expect to eat a lot of fish. The islands have got a strong African vibe, with many of the traders visiting from the mainland trying to make a living. Whilst walking round, it's noticeable that very few of the older generation stay on the island. They all seem to be the younger guys trying to make a few euros. With the exception of some of the back streets, on the whole Santa Maria feels like a safe and welcoming town. The main issue being the guys were always trying to persuade you to come into their family shop or to go on to their excursion. As long as you firmly tell them that you're not interested, they take the hint and pretty much leave you alone. 
Around mid-morning, the fishermen land their catch and are preparing the fish for sale. Expect to see a lot of fish preparation going on, with the buyers coming down to get what they need for tonight's restaurant tables. The fish, of course, are thrown over the side of the pier, where the fish women below are ready to take the spoils. On the evening, you'll no doubt want to try some of today's catch. Along a few streets at the front of the town, there's a really good selection of restaurants and bars, with a strong emphasis on fish dishes. Prices are neither cheap nor too expensive. Some of it is dictated by the cost of importing most things on the island, though restaurants and bars get noticeably more expensive as you get closer to the beach. If you can find out where the holiday reps eat, you're bound to be on a winner. The food quality was okay, we found a really good place that we returned to a couple of times. Also, we found a couple of places we chose to avoid. Do your research and you should get a good meal to fit your budget and food preferences. If you've been to Sal or the other islands, leave your comments below describing your experiences. I'd love to hear what you enjoyed. Anyway guys, as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more adventures with Travel the Globe. Until next time, see ya.